Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Studio 44. We have another stadium extravaganza video for you. Pretty much same uh, same names in this uh, video, but, man, we got some great stadiums. While you've seen many stadiums from most of the gamer tags in this video, there are a few that you've only seen one or two of. So I want to get to them as soon as possible, then wrap things up with a stadium of my own. So let's get to it. Starting things off in Dubai with one of those very familiar gamer tags, Sewell 21, quickly becoming one of my favorite stadium creators. This stadium is called The Palm. It's in Dubai, altitude of 52 feet, built in 2022. And man, when I first saw the stadium, I was so happy and mad at the same time <laughs> because right around the time I made a little park in my city. He made his, and it looks so much better the way he used the street out here. And I love this fountain in the middle of this plaza area or concourse area. Look at the work that went into these stairs. I get so jealous of people who make good stairs. I'm pretty sure you can hit the ball off those stairs, too. It's always fun to watch the ball fly off stairs. That's the one good thing about Oakland is that both sides, left and right field, they have those stairs, right? It can be fun to watch people run up and down chasing balls and watching the balls bounce all over the place. But you have a great, great, great little bleacher section out here covered with the scoreboard. Great idea to blend in with the blue home run fence. Um, in center field, you have an anomaly with two batter's eyes perfect little scoreboard to fit on top of that i love this rock area with the double pool well you got a pool and a lazy river over here i love lazy rivers man there's nothing more relaxing than sitting in an inner tube and just cruising around a lazy river i love it we just went to coco k um royal caribbean's uh, island that they bought to put a you know big resort on a big you know water park and that's one thing they're missing at least i didn't see it there when i was there but they gotta have a lazy river they have a big huge wave pool and that was fun but i need my lazy river i love this custom bullpen in here divided by the scoreboard um great job with the customization of the bullport bull, uh, bullpen i love the signage idea, that looks great in there. Something about having those bigger signs close up makes them look really big and really cool. I like that look. Perfect spot for a team store right above the bullpen. Of course, people can, you know, stand around here and scream at their uh, opposing pitchers. He went with the green wall, or the green windows within the blue wall to be able to put them close together. Come on, SDS, stuff like this. You got to fix that stuff, man. How does that even happen going from game to game? Especially when they don't do that much to update the tool. You know what I'm saying? Pretty standard around. Oh, except for this. Wow, this goes all the way around. That's cool. That's one of my favorite restaurant props with that little deck up front or up well you do have a deck up front i guess with the little the, the bar stool tables and then you have the deck on top that's a cool restaurant to use and you got concessions going all the way around and then very realistic with the luxury seating right under the top deck or the plaza deck i should say then, of course, you have an upper deck. But, yeah, this this is the highlight of this stadium. I love this section out here with the different layers. And I, I, I try to get on board. I've never made one myself with, you know, making a custom bullpen. But, I mean, it just doesn't make – usually doesn't make sense to me to have two of them when you got the stupid ones on the field still. But, you know, when you make them that cool, it makes sense, and it looks great. So, yeah, I love it perfect little entrance into the stadium let's see how it looks from i believe sue will showcase this on one of his channels or not one of his channels his channel sue 21 on youtube he shows off his own stadiums and he has a new feature or a new um video uh i can't think of the term <laughs> But he has um, stadiums that expi in inspire. Very flattered that he used, I think, a few of my stadiums in that. So thank you, Sewell. Great work as always. I think we're going to show another one of yours today, too, because I found it not too long ago, and it's freaking amazing. Um, let's 
go with the lights real quick. Looking fantastic. It's not my favorite outfield pattern. I mentioned that before. But, yeah, it's one of my favorite dirt patterns. I like the shorter. I don't like the straight lines. I prefer just the little curves. Not the not the ones that go straight and then curve. I don't like those as much. At least they don't look as good in this game. But, yeah, if Dubai had a stadium, this is what it would look like, and I love it. So, great work as always. Sewell, we'll visit you again in just a moment. Okay, we have another stadium to show you from Bo Tiger. He made his debut on Studio 44 not too long ago with uh, Tim not Tim Wakefield, but Wakefield Memorial Stadium and a couple videos ago. This is Nashville Park in Nashville, Tennessee, altitude of 560 feet, built in the grand old year of 2023. And this one is very creative. I like this fountain kind of, oh, well, that's a great idea. Look at that. It kind of goes underneath this plaza area where you have a team store and nachos and burgers. This was really cool. I like that a lot. You got some rocks in here. Oh, look at this. There's a whole little beautiful. There's more water going under the fountain or where the fountain's running into. And you got it fenced off with the brick to kind of give it, you know, a nicer, cleaner look. Beautiful. Then he's got some bleachers sucked up right up against. You got the home run fence, little restaurant area over here. This, this makes the stadium right here. This little section is very, very nice. Got the escalator bringing you down. I love this a lot. Gorgeous. And then right on top of it, a great little target of plaza-level luxury seats. Oh, great idea using this warehouse. I never thought that... I never thought that could be used as a way to kind of cap off a stadium, but that blends right into that luxury seating. I like that a lot. Got the funky new lights. I believe this is the Miller Park, or is it still Miller Park, right, in Milwaukee? I believe that's where the scoreboard is from. Blended right in, kind of hiding the pillars that hold it up. Hold it up, I like that. Using the Kohler batter's eye, Kohler batter's eye. Then you got a park over here in right center field that takes you right out to the parking lot, as you can see over here. That looks more like the, the player's parking lot, though. Probably be expensive to park there. Now, is this based on a real stadium, or are these all new ideas? Either way, it looks really great. I like the pool with the little canopy up here and the Tiki Hut concession stand and the little uh, Tiki Hut umbrellas. This is great. Is this a new prop? How new is this? I've never really noticed that before. And then, of course, you got more windows at the right field fence. Uh, another great staircase. Definitely looks like it could be a minor league park. Nashville, Tennessee. I'm assuming there's a, a, a minor league stadium there. Maybe this is a replacement for that. Or maybe this is the minor league stadium just recreated. Either way, it looks really great. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't save it, and I didn't download it to try to keep your Red Sox up here, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> it probably kills you to see all these Yankee symbols plastered all over your stadium. But I tried this. I actually tried not to save the stadium to see if that could, you know, remedy that. But sorry, dude, you got to you got to look at the Yankees symbols when uh, I'm showcasing your stadiums. I like this little section over here. This one tiny. Yeah, anybody put a home run ball up there? DJ Jackson will take a crack at it. How deep is this? So annoying that I have to do this to find the distances. Should be built right in. 384. Uh, that's probably doable. Uh, might be doable. DJ Jackson pulling up there. Again, you have the escalator going down to take you up to this concourse or this deck plaza area. Fantastic stadium. Thank you, Bo Tiger, for sharing. I mean, I don't, I don't think you requested this one to be seen, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I stayed in your last video when I showcase Wakefield Memorial um, that you had some other ones that I wanted to showcase. So, yeah, great work. I like this one a lot. Hey, as always, we have to take a look at the stadium at night. I like using the funky lights. Water, of course, always looks great in 
in the lighting. That's a great idea. I like that little pool with the fountain leading into it. All right, great work, Bow Tiger. Thank you again for sharing. Okay, this creator made his Studio 44 debut in the last video. He's got a handful of stadiums. He says he's new to Stadium Creator, so he wanted to show off some of his creations. We have Macadennis. Now, I'm a huge It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fan. Is this a reference to that, maybe? Mac and Dennis? Two of the main characters, Mac, Dennis, D, Frank. I don't know, but the altitude is 2,000 feet, built in 2022, and this one's, uh, again, like his last one, it's pretty straightforward, but there's little subtle cool things in here. Of course, this is a great new batter's eye, so I like using that one. You got the ball parts, eats hidden, up, uh, eats hidden under here. I always like having multiple decks in the outfield. It's a cool target for home runs. Hitting it up here, yeah, that's a poke, but let's see. 315, 361, that, that might be reachable with that. What is it? What's the altitude again? 2,000 feet, you might be able to get one up there. I like these decks coming off this round building. Always a popular choice. Oh, look at that. That could be scary. Go out one window and head into another with the slide from Miller Park. He's got another retractable roof. Again, I love using this. What is this? I don't remember what it's called ever. I dig it. This, yeah, using this curvy building is, is, is popular, and this is the first time I've seen people hang the seats off it, so I like that a lot. Again, having the palm trees out here, hitting the ball into the trees is always fun. You got concessions back here above these fielding-level seats, field-level seats. Look at this fountain surrounded by picnic tables. That's a cool idea. Be able to sit here, maybe get some mist from the fountain. Beautiful work. Thank you for sharing. He's got more that we can go through later on, so keep your eyes open for this guy. All right, let's move on. Here's a gamer tag we're all familiar with right now. Archmage giving us League Park 4 from the 30s and 40s. He told me that the Cleveland Spiders used to play here. Now, I hear when the Indians were going to change their name that a lot of people were fighting for the Spiders. Um, but obviously they went with the Guardians. But, um, wow, this stadium was built in 1891, altitude of 646 feet. And I just took a quick glimpse at the thumbnail, and I could already tell I like it. Um, I love these old stadiums. It gives me a big Baker Bowl vibe with a higher wall in right field. And then, you know, it kind of jolts back even further into left with the bleacher section and then a uh, field level seat over here. But I mean, arches are staple when it comes to, you know, recreating old school ballparks. And these are the kind of stadiums that I love to see recreated because, you know, you don't see them very much. Everybody's seen Tiger Stadium. Everybody's seen Ebbets Field. Everybody's seen Olympic Stadium in Montreal. I mean, those are ugly stadiums. I, well, at least m the Montreal one is. Ebbets Field is, of course, classic, epic. And I was going to show Arch's remake of Ebbets Field, but um, I noticed in the comments he had this one that he wanted to show off. And again, one that's less you know popular and less known, I uh, I'd definitely like to show that off. But yeah, this definitely has the old school stadium vibes. Had to put some lights on it because I'm pretty sure in 1891 they didn't have lights 
to watch the game. But yeah, great work as always. Great attention to detail. Let's take a look at the lighting. Fabulous. Looks great. Apologize for my voice. Starting to break up a little bit. <clears throat> Done a couple videos in a row, and I've been recovering from the flu or a cold or something. Knocked me out for a few days. Probably got six being stuck on a boat with all those people for a week. But, yeah, great work, as always, from Arch. Definitely want to check out his page in the vault because he's got a gajillion amazing stadiums with amazing detail. He does such a great job of taking some of these props and turning them into parts of the stadiums that you had no idea would work. So that's kind of his specialty. So hats off to you, Arch, as always. Let's take a look at another creation from our buddy Sandman Dan. We have the warehouse in New York. 2,000 feet is the altitude built in 2019. The warehouse. Of course, you got the Western Metal Supply. New prop, right? I like how it blends into the seats. That looks really good. Going with the yellow seats. But this is my favorite part of the stadium right here. You got the home run deck with the sandwich um, concession built right in. And I like how these seats kind of sneak right up to the home run deck. To kind of give you like almost like a private seating feel. And then he's got the bleachers built right on top. I love it. Sandman Dan never disappoints. I love this circular concourse kind of got two levels of it with the people sitting at the bar chilling out oh look at this you can win this car holy shit that's not a car that's like a freaking army jeep or something that thing's pretty badass i like that and then putting the home run fun pump surrounding it that's great this little uh yeah, again, I, I like to give a quick glance over when I first, you know, download the stadium, you know, that you guys request me to showcase. But I, I don't I don't look at it too deeply because I like my, you know, natural reactions when I show it for the first time. That's awesome that you can win that car. That's a great idea. Got a big scoreboard out, scoreboard out in left field over the warehouse. Oh, look at this. Turned it into, like, its own little... Uh, what seats are they on? Or are they just blended into that concession stand? How many different rows of people do you got in here, Dan? Yeah, I guess that's kind of... Is that something that's built in? Yeah, it must be. All right, nice work, nice work. Oh, it's built into the minor league. That's what it is. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was wondering what this facing was. This. Okay, now I got it. Excellent. You got another warehouse out here. This definitely looks more like traditional. The, well, I shouldn't say traditional, but this definitely looks more like San Diego than, you know, the way it. Having this going up to the left field line like this. Got the upper deck up here. What's this thing? Oh, it's the top of the warehouse. Okay, gotcha. All right. He got the funky light lighting up these signs and the cold drink concession stand. Sandman Dan is the man. Concessions wrapped around all the way in through that main level. Luxury seating throughout. Oh, you use the minor league. I like that. Yeah, I always thought it was too big. The, the big league field level seating, it's too big. It, it, it should be steeper, that second level. You know what I'm talking about? Like right here, this, this little section should be higher, should be steeper. So I think it's a good idea to use the minor league session, uh, sections and then, you know, build the luxury seats right into that weird building that they have you know set up with all of them I think that's a great idea Dan once again you guys are giving me ideas to steal from you 
I think I might use that in the future. That's that's fantastic. But yeah, once again, Dan continues to uh, with the quirky dimensions. I like how that sticks out, kind of tracing the the round concourse area. Let's throw the lights on again real quick. Got the old school roof. I always like the old school roof. Of course, I hope it has a good gutter system because it seems like the water would just trickle right down that and just like drip in front of everybody. I mean, you can't really see it, but I, I hope there's a good gutter system. Sorry, let's get the lights back on. Excellent work. Got the bridge in the background. Oh, the hanger, the food hanger. What's in here? Hot dogs, snacks. I like that. All right, great work, Dan, as always. All right, one more from Sewell, 21, and then I have one more of my own. I was going to save the stadium as a highlight in the next video, but I got so many good ones coming in now that you know, I can splurge. Thank you guys so much. You guys help me so much make good videos by submitting good stadiums. So please, please, please keep it up. Leave the stadium name that you would like showcased in the comments below. Leave your gamer ID tag with it. And I will be happy to showcase that stadium for you right here on Studio 44. Sewell 21, back to him. Vanderbilt Yards in Brooklyn, New York. Altitude of 220 feet. Built in 1929. Again, I was going to save it for a highlight in a later video, but, I mean, it's so good. I didn't want to wait. I love this big wall, you know, that peaks on both sides. And then he's got the backdrop up here. Perfect for that home run fence. I love having that glass and kind of like this cutout of the wall. It looks amazing. Be so fun peppering home runs off that wall. How deep is it? 347. Now, that's a pretty good poke for a, for a wall that high. And it jolts straight back. I love that a la Ebbets Field. Again, I wish they could fix this and have the pole not just kind of dangle off like that but what are you going to do i mean just uses every brick building and it blends in perfectly i love this section up here can you put ball up here have you put a ball up here i don't know i'm going to find out soon because i'm going to play in the stadium this stadium will definitely be used in the ricky davis league center field you got multiple batter's eyes using those anomalies great work i love these um, bleachers or special seating built off these warehouses in the back. You got the burgers back here. And then this is a cool little porch or sidewalk or whatever to aim for. Hitting balls over that fence into there. Again, that's a poke too, but let's see. 342. Yeah, I don't know if you're making it up there. But it sure be fun to try. Then you got the cool little pool section over here with the windows built in. This is great. That's the, that's something you wouldn't really see in an old school stadium. They probably had to add that in with renovations. It looks great. And then I like having the bleachers close to the field. Again, behind home plate. Down first baseline as well. This little corner looks great. Man, Sewell, each stadium of his gets better and better as well. Let's take a look at the outside. He did a great job of giving it an old school feel. Not too many, you know, skyscrapers surrounding the area. You got a little little league park or high school field back here. Great little neighborhood. Let's turn the lights on. Oh, I like I like the two layers of the warehouse as the facing of the stadium. Looks great. Man. You guys suck. You're too good. I need to stop showing my stadiums last, having to follow all you guys. Using the plain dirt pattern, which is smart, gives it an old school feel. Quirky stadium dimensions. I, I mean, I can't say enough about the stadium. Great work as always. Thank you so much for making my channel so much better by giving me all these stadiums, guys. Old school lights. Perfect, make perfect sense. 
I love it. The stadium. <clears throat> there it is. There's that look. There's the look. I won't zoom in. I'll spare you. This little section looks great, too. Man. Now, wouldn't it be great to have standing room only fans who are just kind of leaned up against this wall watching the game? I mean, tell me there wouldn't be. Tell me this whole thing wouldn't be lined up with people. Same thing over here. And same thing back here. We need standing room only fans prop. Sewell, you said it in the comments. I know I'm going to make a wish list video coming up soon, especially now that the World Series is over. You kind of go into the dead, you know, baseball times, getting already starting thinking about the next version of the game. So um, that's going to be one of the next videos. Also, one of the next videos, um, I mentioned it in the last video, that my brother proposed we have the Ricky Davis League, fictional characters or fictional players, fictional stadiums, fictional teams. I've always handpicked from the vault or, you know, built a handful of the teams myself. And I have a handful that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you one next. But in the next video, I'm going to go back to my brother, see if he still wants to do this. I would love, love, love to by division give you the teams in the division and you guys maybe pick which teams you would like to make a stadium for and then i'll download them using in the ricky davis league i can show you home run derbies from them i you using the ricky davis players i can show you game highlights that's another thing i do plan on doing i have video saved on the playstation 5 of me playing games in your stadiums. I did one, like the second video I did, I did the home run derby of like the first group of stadiums I ever showcased. I think it went well, but you know, I got more followers now. And speaking of more followers, more subs, I'm so close to 100, guys. Come on, if you're watching, like, subscribe. I'd love to get to 100. Um, Respect the pick has surpassed me, so get me up to 100. I'd really appreciate it. All right, well, Sewell, thank you so much. I'll get deeper into that stadium thing in another video. Uh, real quick, though, let's wrap things up with one more stadium. Okay, I just finished this stadium up last night. It's called Salesforce Field. I did a version of this field, which I almost think was better in the last version of the game. It's located in San Jose, California. It's home of the Wizards, which you will see on a sign. Altitude of 2,500 feet. I said it was built in 2022 just because I did a, a different version of this in the last game. But... I don't know. I I wanted like a center field window, like a giant center field window a la Toronto. And well, how Toronto used to look before it was went through all that renovations, that restaurant in center field and Yankee Stadium has the same thing over Monument Park. Um, but I could never find the right windows. So I saw someone did a smaller scale using this prop. The problem with using this prop is the windows look like dirty. And you know, it's not very glossy, so it looks kind of dull. But, I mean, if you put them together like that, I think it works pretty good. And I kind of framed it using the marble, the, you know, the diamond shape. And then I covered up the scoreboard and made a Salesforce field sign. And I named it after the San Jose Wizards. I don't know why we named them the Wizards. <laughs> but... um I think my brother named them the Wizards. But that's another thing I'm going to do with the contest is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the teams that we have. I know some of them are pretty much just minor league teams and we boosted them up. Maybe you guys can help us fix some of those too. Like the San Jose Wizards, I'm pretty sure uh, my brother just came up with. And we came up with the Charlotte Spiders. Uh, I call them the Charlotte Spiders because um, someone suggested that name because Charlotte's Web. And she's a spider. <laughs> but... Um, I like the uniforms, black, yellow, kind of Batman colors. But, um, yeah, I'll go through all the teams. I'll show you the logos and stuff like that and their uniforms. And you can kind of tell me what you think the stadium should look like. Or you could suggest new names. Or maybe you have a team that you would like to contribute to the Ricky Davis League. That would be even better. And if you want to take it a step further, we're always looking for star players, too. If you want to borrow some of our players, you can use the Ricky Davis roster. It's in the vault. If you have players that you want us to use, let us know. We'll download them. We'll throw them right in the Ricky Davis League, and I can give you updates on how they're doing throughout the season. I think that could be fun. But we have... 
like two sections of this building. I don't know what's in here. If this was the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino, it would be perfect for the casino. Poker tables and slot machines all through here and in this area right here. And then it kind of opens up to this deck, which I kind of built accidentally, but I, I think it turned out pretty good. You got the burgers back here built in. Um, another treehouse roof up here. You got the picnic tables right along this fence. I like I like having weird little spots for stands to be. I think this fits in pretty good. Ooh, I got to close these guys off. They could lean forward and fall off. I know, they're fake. It won't really hurt them, but listen. Safety first, even for fake people. You just come up here and you line it up with the pole. I'll speed this up so it's faster. Not always going fast. I keep talking about this. Double triple speed. I'm gonna get chipmunk. So you got that there. New controller. Not broken yet, so it's not very smooth. There you go. And it's pretty short, so you can just snap it. And there you go. Okay, back to speed. Okay, we should have a little something right here too. Hold on. Lit laser ribbon. Laser ribbon. Will that fit right there? Nope. Too big. I don't think any other scoreboard will fit there either. Maybe I'll find a little sign. But I like this little deck right here with the tables. People chilling out, watching the game. Hard for these guys to see. Altuve! Get that fucking shirt out of my stadium. Fuck that guy. Is there a buzzer going along? Tell him when the freaking home run ball's coming at her. Stupid Altuve. Um, I was pretty happy with this little corner too. I always wanted to find a good use for this prop it's expensive but i think it blends in well over here in this little niche i never like this of course it's because the stupid um, bullpens have to swing through you know and make room so this jolts out you can't just do a straight line across so you got this weird little like triangle of dead space but i think that section turned out pretty good and then down the third baseline I decided to go a little bit different go with the grass hill along the base path and then seating on top of it and then the rest of the stadium is pretty standard over here in right field now in the other version of the stadium in the last version of the game this big wall was on the other side so that's the big difference then you got um everybody else seemed to be doing such a great job with this prop this bleacher prop i never tried it much before but it kind of made sense to sit in front of this plaza level or field level seating, and then it doubles as a fence to keep the people, you know, safely along those seats. And then you know I like my luxury seats in front of the scoreboard. I don't know what it is about that, but I like it. You can definitely pepper some home runs off the scoreboard. And then the last version of the game, I also did this. I tried to have people standing on this walkway, and I think it was a little further away from the stadium so it looked better. I mean, maybe I'll try it and see how it looks. Maybe if I do it like that, it'll look okay. Again, I wish you didn't have to fart around with this. I wish you could just add a standing room only prop, but we'll see how that works. I thought it would be cool, you know, to have people lined up and then Oh, I thought it went around more. I guess not. But it kind of goes into this little building right here. Again, I used the red, which seems to be popular. Murph, of course, taking it to whole new levels in his stadiums. What the heck is this? That doesn't fly. What is going on here? All right, we're back in fast forward mode. I'm talking really fast again. You guys are watching me fix my stadiums. There we go, back to regular speed. I like this little area right here, the little benches with the bush in between. I don't know, just something to kind of fill this empty space. You guys are, are just kicking my ass when it comes to fancy decks and, you know, making them look so much nicer. So, you know, I'm trying. But I, I like this idea. I kind of blended in this building with the luxury seating just to give it a little bit of a different look. It's fun hitting home runs off this restaurant. Then, of course, you got anomalies um, with the building 
in the background kind of covering up the facing of the Texas Rangers Hill. I always tell myself I'm going to use a different hill, but I always end up going back to the old Texas Rangers Hill. Throw the lights on real quick. And there we have Salesforce Field. It's it's a little frustrating. I want to use the the different letter, letters up here. I want to use the lit letters, the neon ones. These. I want to use these, but they read out. So dumb. So frustrating. But what are you going to do? It's the same thing with, I mean, I've gone over this before, but the lights, you know, it's like, uh, like they read out here, but not here. W T F. Pretty standard city in the background. I don't get nearly as creative as you guys do. You guys make them look so much nicer. What the heck is this thing just floating here? Man, it's a good thing I went in here. Just a random scoreboard. Okay. It's a good thing I went in here, though. Found a lot of stuff. Um, I kind of hid things with this building back here. It doesn't make it the cleanest stadium in the world, but I had a lot of things to hide. So that's how I did it. Behind the stadium, I don't think I did anything. Nope. Left it plain. I, I mean, I like it. My biggest problem is the windows. Do you guys have any better ideas for that? I, w I wish they were cleaner, shinier. But, all right, that's all I have for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you so much for submitting stadiums. Again, if you want to submit a stadium, leave the name of the stadium in the comments below. Please, please, please leave your gamer tag with it. It can be very hard to find a stadium if you don't leave your gamer tag with it. A lot of times there's multiple stadiums using the same name. So I want to make sure I get your stadium please check out respect the pick it's a podcast with my nephew and my brother thank you again for submitting a stadium and thank you again for watching and we'll see you very very soon